Hi there, once again welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if this is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, we'll be talking about objects in JavaScript, what they are and how you can create objects. Objects is an ordered collection of key value pairs. So a car in the real world is an object. So you can have a car and a car is having properties. So one of the properties of a car is a type so we can have a Honda car fiat and what are the properties that you can talk about so a car can have a width a car can have a color so those are all properties of a car and we have methods so methods are just actions that are performed on objects so actions that you perform on objects are referred to as a method okay so a car can start a car can stop so those are methods but today i'll be talking about just objects and their properties and how you can actually assess the properties within what an object so let's jump into action and see how to do this so this is just a simple code i have over here and i created i first add a comment to this line so we're going to display all our code within the browser here so i'm going to show you how you can display objects within the browser so we come back to this place and then this is i created an object called a car so let me come down here we can also create an object Objects are just like variables, but just that they can take multiple values. So I can create a person is an object. So I can just create a constant. I can create an object and I can call it a person. So this is how you do it. You put everything into brackets this way. And you can even break this down like this. Write everything on a separate line. This will look very neat. So in the real world, a person is an object and a person is going to have a name. So you can say first name. So a person can have a first name. And you bring the colon and then you assign the value pair so this is the key is the fed first name and the value that we have over here the value is going to be here so those will be the properties the person is going to have a first name so over here you can see six so that is one of the properties of a person a person is having a name you bring comma and the next property can also come the person is going to have a last name so you can also bring this as well so a person can also have a last name and you can put the last name here as well you can just call it let's see whatever name it is then you bring a comma and you can list all the properties that you know about a person so we can see a person can also have a age a person can also have age so we can put that right here so let me just do that here so we can actually do this like this so the last property of the object you, you are not supposed to add a colon okay you are not supposed to add a semicolon to this so you bring a comma and you can also write the same thing on a straight line like this so as you can see over here this is also another object and this is a car a car is having the type of the car is honda and let me just uncomment this the type of the object i have over here the the object name is a car and then the type is a Honda and the weight is 780 and then the color is white. Okay, so this is basically supposed to be color and not white. So we have to just adjust this. So that means a car is having a property which is color and it can be white, can be any other color that you want. Okay, so that is basically what we talk about what that's basically what we are we mean by what object so in the real world a car is an object a person is an object and they have properties so actions that you perform on objects is what you call the method so a car can be can drive you can drive a car you can stop a car those are method and i'll talk about method in another video consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on post notification so you have such a things you have this how do you assess these properties of a particular object how do you assess that so if you want to assess the property you have to call this object and bring a what dot a dot sign that you call what the type of property so basically this is what you do but in javascript to print out something we need to use the right way so we can say document dot right line and you can target the type the type of what object so the, this is the object car and i want to type the type of 
property you want to access so the type is now this we'll print this out we should be getting a honda okay so if i save this and i load this in the browser go back and then load this in the browser i should be getting a honda over here if we want to know a different other property of the car maybe i want to know the weight of this car then i just have to change this the car dot what weight so you can see this is another property of the car so this should be printing what the 780 within my browser okay so this should print 780 and you can see i have 780 printed so the same way if you want to print the color you want to know the color of your car you can just say car the word color and that should print the color of your object so just save this and then just go ahead and then load this within the browser and see you can see this is printing white the same process or the same way you can use to print the other object which i have over here that is a person the same way to do it for person okay we can write this you know the same line but mostly if you break this into multiple lines it makes your code look very neat okay so let's use the same way to print out maybe you want to know the name of the person we can't just use this method to do that okay so let's print out the person so the person is supposed to have a name so let's say we want to know the first name of the person then we have to say person dot what first name and this should print out the first name which should be set so try this load this in your browser and see how this is going to work so you should be getting setting in the browser so the process follow that way you can print the age so the person dot age will give you what should be printing 67 okay so this is how you print out objects within the browser you can assess the property of object i'll show you another video i'll target method so i'll do another part of this video and i'll talk about just method in objects so we talk about properties and these are the property how you list them so an object is an ordered collection of key value pairs so you can see we have the keys and then they have value so the first name here is the key and set is the value so they work in pairs so we have the name of the object which is person just as we have over here okay mostly i use a constant you can use the let to do that you can use the let like this but mostly are you constant mostly if you create some objects you don't want it to change okay so i choose to go with constant you can use let but mostly i'll prefer you go with constant so as something you write and you don't want to change this variable type as long as you go through your code so consider subscribing for more videos and programming and other it related video on my youtube channel because i have amazing stuff coming and you can't miss that till i come your way again bye bye